Well, tonight, a sign of recovery after devastating wildfires. Highway 22 in the Santa Yam Canyon now back open to all traffic between the towns of Gates and Idana. Welcome to Coin 6 News at 10 o'clock, everyone. I'm Jeff Giannola, and that area was blocked off for more than a month after wildfires swept through. Our Jacqueline Abad spoke with drivers who were waiting to get by, and she reports from the town of Gates. ODA opened up Highway 22 at milepost 33 at 7 o'clock today. Before the opening, residents had to be guided between Gates and Detroit during certain times of the day. Some residents say that they're glad that the highway is back open, but some are concerned that this may attract outsiders who want to see the damage. At 7 o'clock, ODOT collected the cones and took down the roadblock. Cars and trucks waiting to go through, including Nick Lalak, who drives back and forth from Ben to Salem. It's a lot faster um, to go this path. Before ODOT could open this 40 mile stretch, crews had to remove 30,000 hazardous trees. We've got it to a point where we're comfortable that motorists can be on this road safely and can start to move through the area. But we're being very, very careful and very cautious about this. As crews continue to work on restoring power lines and cutting down more hazard trees, ODA is asking travelers to be aware of hazards like slides and the potential for falling rocks. Well, certainly I'll be alert of, for any, any potential hazards, as I usually am, especially at night. But I completely trust that ODOT is making the right decision. Evacuation levels from late September remain the same. Along the Highway 22 corridor east of the Detroit Dam to milepost 56 is still in a level 2 evacuation zone. So if you plan on traveling, come prepared and expect delays. Travel may be very lengthy and people should expect that that's a possibility of going through this corridor. If you do plan on driving through Highway 22, be aware that the speed limit is 40 miles an hour between milepost 33 and 63. Reporting in Gates, Jacqueline Abad, Quinn 6 News. Jacqueline, thank you.